You must have seen cars, gates, automobiles, fences and grills. They are all made of iron and steel. But have you ever visited factories where these products are made? Solid iron is molded and reshaped into parts which are then used to make automobiles and cars. Iron bars are heated till they become red or yellow. The iron is now soft enough to be hammered and molded into different shapes. These bars with new shapes and designs are now used for making grills. In all these changes, the iron remains iron before, during and after the change. No new substance is formed. But the same iron, when it comes in contact with air and a little moisture, it forms an orange-brown powder. This orange-brown powder does not change back to steel grey colour even after a long time. This is because the iron has got oxidized to form what we call rust. This iron oxide is a completely new chemical with different properties from the original iron. Changes are happening continuously around us. Some are physical changes while others are chemical changes. Welcome to this course on physical and chemical changes. In this course, we will learn what is the difference between these two types of changes and how we can classify the various changes as physical changes or chemical changes. This course is based on the NCERT class 7 science syllabus physical and chemical changes. It is suitable for all children above the age of 11 years.